So when you do a lot of sculpting, sometimes it takes a lot of time to actually remake a mesh from the ground up. So like if you're working from a new character, you have like how you see me do in ZBrush where I draw the Z-spheres all the time. Well, believe it or not, um, sometimes it's better to use what's referred to as a base mesh, which is what these are. Base meshes are basically pre-made assets that you can use to build on top things. So I've got a male, I got a female, and then I got a baby in the center. I can literally take these three characters and make them whatever I want. I can make the male be um, a gladiator, I can make him be a mechanic, a soldier. I can make the woman be like a, a waitress, maid, I could make her be a soldier or a police officer as well. And the baby I could make into an alien if I wanted, just as an example. For base meshes like this, sometimes it's not ideal for when you're going to do a major sculpted project, look at what you've seen me do before. So sometimes having more of like a split up kind of procedural type thing is usually what would work best. So we're going to try and explore that and use one of these, well actually I'm just going to use a female. I'm going to use the female as a basis to build a construction body that I can pose and then bring into ZBrush or just keep it in Blender and do some sculpting in that way. So you can kind of get the idea of what I'm trying to go for. I'm effectively making a 3D mannequin that I can basically put 3D like digital clay on is essentially what it is. So the idea is this, so that um, after I'm done, I'm gonna have all these be parented to one another, like how you would do in rigging where you have the hierarchy from the hip up or down, depending upon where the bones are laid out. But eventually, Everything is going to be controlled by the hip. Ooh, I should probably apply those. So the idea is that I'm going to have this hierarchy going on. So the hip controls everything and then everything else rotates within it. Much like this. I have to adjust where the pivot point is going to be, obviously. Um, actually, believe it or not, that chest cavity has a really good pivot point already. I'll just smooth that out, but yeah. And then this is going to have to get moved down to there. So, I, you know, let me do that really quick. But the idea is that eventually this is going to have a certain way that it rotates and pivots and I'm going to be able to, man to maneuver and then kind of form the character into being the shapes that I want. And what I can basically do is if I set these two individual origins up here, I can have them rotate like this independently of one another. Let me go in perspective. I can have them rotate like this and you see I get like almost very animated movement with it. So. Each one will have its own rotation, obviously, so I have to kind of finagle all that, but yeah. So you get the idea. Now I'm going to have to work on doing the legs and the hands and the legs and the arms as well, then eventually move up to the head.
So this is where I'm at now. Um, I have a reference pulled up on my other screen just so I can have an idea of what I'm doing. So it's coming along pretty well. I mean, it's obviously still not as good as I want it to be. For the most part, this is what the idea of it is going to be. So once everything is parented to whatever they need to be, well, I'm probably going to also do a joint um, a bone structure just so it's easier to animate and move around because I don't have to worry about clicking all the individual things. But the idea is that I'm going to be able to move this, move these parts around and be able to get like different poses. Then finally export it as an OBJ or STL back into ZBrush, Dynamesh, and then sculpt all the details on top of that. That's going to be a challenge because I have to understand like how exactly the muscles flex, move, and change and how the skin stretches and folds against itself for all the major details. So this is basically the final result. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a quick rig just for this. Um, actually, I kind of want to get rid of those parenting lines because that is honestly driving me nuts. But yeah, so that's pretty much it um, for now in terms of that. So I'm just gonna shut up and get working on this rig just so I at least have that.
So this is the completed base file. It doesn't look like much, but this is what I got, and this is really, you know, this is really as much as I'm gonna do. I don't want to go too crazy with the actual rig, only because that's not the point of this exercise. So what I'm gonna, so like what I can do with this is I can pose the bones however I want. So with a pose like this, I can go ahead and take it and I can sculpt on top of it. I can create whatever kind of uh, character I would want. Now, the only downside is I would have to figure out how to decimate this or, or um, uh, uh, not decimate, uh, because I don't, because I don't know how um, Blender does re, um, remeshing. I can do this in ZBrush easy because I just have to throw it into um, uh, Dynamesh to get all that. And you notice there's no um, trapezius muscles down on the shoulders, but that can be added in in the sculpt. But yes, and then the benefit too is if I wanted to, I can hide the head because that's just a placeholder and then work on actually sculpting one as a separate subtool and then move it into place. Which is kind of similar to what you do in traditional sculpture anyway, so yeah. But yeah. I mean, that's going to be it for this video, um, and, I mean, just, it'll just be a quick little video, this is more so just like a proof of concept, and then in the next one, I think I'll actually go ahead and use this to go ahead and create. Can you leave him alone? Hey, you're going to be bigger than him. Stop it. My puppy, he's like eight pounds now, but full grown, he's going to be 20, and he's attacking my cat, Horace, who's nearly 18 so i don't want to do that whatever um but that's it for today um i'll conclude the video here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye